Hey, now it's The Rob from 1061 KISS FM, finally reunited and feels so good with it's, my tag team partner in podcasting. It's like the primetime players back together, baby. It's Eric right. Cornish with WKDQ. Everybody loves a good reunion and just forget the past, right? I, I think so, too. Uh, fresh off the uh, trip to the WWE Performance Center, uh, can't you tell? Did you uh, go? <laughs> no, I didn't. I really wish. I was so close. I really wanted to go. They don't give tours. They don't really. Yeah, let I you wouldn't in. know what it would be like. Uh, and, and no NXT tapings, no TNA tapings while I was in Orlando, and that was a bummer. But uh, Mickey Mouse says hello. All right then. So well, I covered things while you were gone. I talked about the Fast Flame pay per view. I talked about the way WrestleMania is shaping up. Uh, what do you feel like talking about on your first show back? Well, I uh, I, I did. I watched your shows uh, this morning, and I and I kind of got a feel for what you were talking about. I, I think we were kind of on the same page with a lot of that stuff. The Fast Lane. Did you watch Fast Lane? I, I watched most of it. Uh, I got to watch it while I was on the road, and uh, and I was pretty impressed with it. Uh, it all kind of turned out, you know, basically the way we kind of thought it right. was going to go. Uh, a few changes here and there, but um, but let's let's talk about uh, the Brock Lesnar situation because uh, this has been something that's kind of been out on the internet uh, since since Monday of last week, where uh, apparently Brock was in Nashville ready to to go on to Raw. Uh, and then got into some contract disputes or something with Vince McMahon. And, and the latest reports I'm seeing uh, says it got very heated and loud and yelling, and people were actually concerned for Vince's well-being, uh, <laughs> and, and Brock walked. Uh, yeah, I got a tweet from WWE that day saying that, or like they sent uh, an, like a, through the app, they yeah, sent me a yeah, text yeah. message saying that Lesnar's going to be at Raw on Monday. And right. I got excited for it. I remember I watched Raw, and I kind of forgot that he wasn't there. I think, like, didn't they even promote it during the show? That I think he was they did, be there? yeah. And then he was gone. So, uh, interesting situation there. Um, I, I, it makes me wonder. I mean, obviously, it's not a work uh, in in this case. Or at least I don't think it is. Uh, but a lot of people are saying that it, that it got very heated. It is over contract. But Vince is saying that it will not affect the main event at WrestleMania. It will happen. He will be there. Um, Brock, well, Brock's a guy who traditionally is known for uh, honoring his contracts. Sure. Uh, he's not known for walking out like this. Um, so I bet you that anything they're talking about is probably post-WrestleMania 31. I would think so. Uh, it, may be, it may be a no-compete, uh, you know, however long the no-compete would be after his contract's over. It may be something uh, to do with, you know, his bonuses, money. I, I don't know. Uh, but I would be willing to say at this point, Brock Lesnar will not be back after WrestleMania. I think this will kind of put the nail in the coffin. But the question is, how will it affect the way things play out at WrestleMania and leading up to WrestleMania? What do you think? Well, I'm not a hundred percent convinced that he won't be coming back. Uh, these things oftentimes get heated. We've seen superstars walk out on shows before. Steve Austin comes to mind, uh, ironically enough, with Brock Lesnar, and, and other times it's happened too. Um, these are sometimes the way negotiations with Vince go. Uh, remember Kurt Angle sure. uh, had to leave the company after, an, after a, a meeting with Vince about contracts. Uh, there, I wouldn't say that this is the nail in the coffin, although I don't think it's looking good for Brock being back after WrestleMania 31. All right, now what was your, what was your question? So I, I guess the question is, do you think this is going to, going to affect the way that things play out between now and WrestleMania and in the main event itself? No, not necessarily. The reason I say that is Vince has a track record of doing what is right for business for the most part and leaving personal things out of it. Um, I think that if Brock is not returning, whatever happened on Monday a week ago will not affect the, the outcome of WrestleMania 31. Obviously, if Lesnar is leaving, he's not going to retain the title. No. Uh, but I think they're going to keep him. The smart thing to do is to book him like a strong monster heel that Reigns will overcome at WrestleMania, correct? I'm not so sure. All right, I, I'm not so sure that, one, I'm not so sure that you wouldn't maybe even try to figure Daniel Bryan back into the mix uh, and, and, and get rid of Brock Lesnar. I don't think that's going to happen. I think you're still going to go in. You're going to see Lesnar and Reigns uh, in the main event. But what I couldn't see happening, because, you, you know, you say Vince does what's best for business and not always personal. Nah, I don't necessarily agree with that because there's times when he does, you know, try to put his guys, uh, giving them the upper hand or, or make someone look silly when they're going out. I mean, that happens from time to time. It does. Um, I think... We've seen Brock Lesnar all, all of a sudden Saturday was very cozy up to Dana White at UFC. 
you know, not not unusual to see WWE guys at UFC, but to be so buddy buddy with Dana White mm-hmm. there uh, while things are going on, interesting. Uh, I could actually see, and this is would not not normally be the way things are going, but because of the reaction of Reigns, along with now people knowing that Lesnar's probably going to leave, uh, I can see Lesnar winning this match. And here's why. Because when that match is over, he's got a chance to be cashed in on by Seth Rollins. Well, that's something... In a quick fashion. Yeah, I mean, that's something that I would be totally in favor of as well. Uh, I don't think Reigns is the guy you want to book up. Rollins still has that chance of Mm -hmm. being the heel of the future. You know, that Randy Orton spot, I feel like, could be Rollins's. And I think this is really the time to use that. This is... uh, The main event is in a bit of turmoil. You know, it's, it's not... It's not all going smoothly. Yeah, I gotta tell you, I, I'm very uninterested about this WrestleMania as opposed to past WrestleMania. I really, I mean, I was uninterested about Batista and Randy Orton until they added in the the whole stipulation with Daniel Bryan and Triple H last year. Uh, so they still may go that direction, but, uh, I kinda, but at this point, I'm I, I'm not very interested about Reigns versus Lesnar uh, until now. The the option of, okay, we've got Rollins still in the mix, we've got Lesnar who might be leaving, we've got Reigns who's going to get booed out of the building probably. Mm-hmm. I, I, I don't know. Now I'm kind of intrigued. So Well, I kind of like when stuff like this happens. You know, it's like, remember when Lesnar did this at WrestleMania 20 when he was fighting Goldberg? Sure, yeah. And we knew both of them were leaving. Like, it, when turmoil happens in real life, it can it make the television product much more interesting. So I'm looking forward to it. And, and I then will... again, it could all be a work. And this could be something to set up uh, Austin and, and Lesnar. <laughs> uh, you know, the Austin walked out because he didn't want to wrestle Lesnar and lose to him on Raw. And you know, I'm going to take it one step I, further. I think this is setting up Austin and CM Punk. Exactly. In a UFC <laughs> MMA match yes. at WrestleMania. Eight-sided ring, dogs and cats falling out of the sky. Let the rumor mill begin. <laughs> all right, that was a lot of fun. Uh, for myself, The Rob. And I'm Eric Cornish. Make sure you subscribe uh, so you can see all our videos as they come out. We sure would appreciate it. I mentioned I'm uh, glad you're back. Hey, I'm glad to be back. Tag. You're in. Millions of dollars. Millions of dollars. Millions of dollars. Gotta go with.